What's going on everybody? My name is Dorelius. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the rest of the features included in this new combat update, as well as everything on the new Spider's Den. As well as this, we'll be covering new bosses, new items, basically everything this update has to offer. Before we get into this, I want to say thank you guys for all the support recently, as it really does mean a ton. And if you are new here, please make sure you like and subscribe, as that really does help out the channel, and we are getting awfully close to 15k. On that note though, let's get right into the video. This update has brought more than just combat features to the game, however, with a bunch of new characters hanging out at this tavern. Essentially, the Brahma's Beast Slayer basically just gives you information on how the bestiary works. And one of the most important things to discuss here is that there is a bestiary milestone that increases as you level up tiers of the bestiary. The biggest thing I can compare this to is probably the way minions work. Essentially, every tier that you level up a mob, so as you can see I have Zealot 8, that means that that's 8 tiers. I have Watcher 6, that's 6 tiers, so on and so forth for every other type of mob. And, essentially, by leveling them up, you're able to level up your bestiary milestone. This is important for a few reasons, as it's the main way you're going to be gaining combat XP as per this update, and is very important for a pet I will discuss in a moment. Heading inside the building and heading up the stairs, you could speak to Shaggy, which basically will tell you about some relics hidden around the island. These are relatively simple things, essentially there are 28 of them hidden all around the island, and upon collecting each and every one of them, you will be gaining 10,000 coins per piece. As well as this, you will gain access to the Arachne Crystal Trade, which I will discuss more later. Next up, and probably most importantly, you should speak to Grandma Wolf, as she will give you the Grandma Wolf Pet. By leveling up your Beastary Milestone, as you can see, you will be able to level up the Grandma Wolf Pet. This is probably the most important pet in the whole game right now because of the kill combo perk. Kill combo allows you to gain buffs for combo kills, pretty obviously. These effects will stack as you increase your combo, and the pet does not need to be spawned in order for combos to be active. I really recommend leveling up your bestiary milestone as high as you can get it in order to get this pet to legendary. Even though you don't need this pet out in order for combos to be active, I really recommend increasing it to a relatively high level as that increases the duration of the combo itself. As you can see, getting a top tier 30 combo or higher, you will be gaining 20 coins per kill, 9% magic find, and 15% combat XP just with this pet. On top of that, if you wanted to have, say, a wolf pet out, you'd be gaining all of the buffs of a wolf pet while also having these combos active meaning that it automatically becomes one of the strongest pets in the game. Heading outside the big old tavern thing, you should head over to the cave in the back part of the spider's den. This is where most of the combat will actually be happening, as the spiders here are of a relatively high level. The really interesting part about all of these spiders is essentially the fact that it makes doing spider slayers incredibly easy, as it only requires about 26 of them to summon a spider slayer boss. I think this area is going to become an excellent grinding spot, and is probably one of the most popular locations already. What's also really interesting about these spiders is that every single one of them acts as basically a zealot, with a 1 in 500 chance of giving you an Arachne's Keeper Fragment. Basically, these fragments allow you to summon the boss, the Arachne, and one of them is currently happening right now as signified by this giant spider cobweb wall. This boss is relatively easy, and the easy mode variant of this boss is summoned by just collecting 4 of these fragments which have a 1 in 500 chance of dropping. Overall, this boss isn't particularly hard to summon, and honestly is made really easy by the fact that Magic Find is super easy to get. If you have 200 Magic Find, or even 100 or 150, you will be able to get one of these around every 150 to 250 kills, and that's way easier to get than ever before because of the fact that there is an absurd amount of spiders within this area of the den. I'm really enjoying the increased mob density in this place. It definitely makes doing slayers and just generally grinding out combat XP way easier. In terms of the boss fight itself, there isn't really too much I have to go over when it comes to actually fighting it. The boss is relatively simple. The easy mode has 1 million health, and the hard mode has 20 million. For every 33% health that the boss falls, it will summon a bunch of mini mobs to basically take care of. These mobs will basically cause the main boss to despawn and reappear once most of them are killed, so don't worry about attacking the boss when these mini bosses are out. Essentially, how the fight works is that the boss will run around attacking one player and summoning cobwebs everywhere they go. These cobwebs aren't too difficult to avoid, although they're mainly meant to be annoyances. And, as well as this, 
the boss has a large level of combat and damage resist. It does not allow you to use Hyperion or any other magic weapons. It doesn't even allow you to use weapon abilities. You can only melee the boss down. This effectively makes Berserker players and players with full Necron the best overall fighters for this boss. In terms of fight rewards, the main item you're going to be receiving from the boss fight, and at the very least the easy mode of the boss fight, is Arachne Fragments and Soul String. Soul String is used to craft a variety of bows that I will get into in a little bit, but essentially just use it for now and keep it in your inventory. As well as this, Arachne Fragments will be able to allow you to craft the Arachne Crystal, in which you need a bunch of Enchanted Spider Eyes, Enchanted String, and three of these Arachne Fragments, as well as all relics collected on the island in order to craft. Simply report back to Shaggy and he will allow you to make an Arachne Crystal, which will let you summon the hard mode variant of the boss. I think this is an excellent system overall, as it allows you to easily craft special summoning items for the high level bosses with the items that you've already received from the lower level boss. I think the system is really great, and honestly I'm really happy with the way Hypixel has implemented this. In terms of rewards though, other than the Tarantula Pets which can drop from both the Normal and Hard Mode, and the Soul String which will drop in lower amounts on the Normal Mode and high amounts on the Hard Mode, there isn't too much else. One of the other main items is probably the Spider's Dark Queen Soul Drop, which is a portion of the Arachne Soul that can be used to craft items. This basically allows you to make upgraded variants of a lot of the bows, and allows you to make the upgraded Venom's Touch, which in my opinion is the best bow overall from this update. The reason why this bow is so amazing is because it absolutely destroys a Runon's bow in literally every stat. Aside from the fact that you can't necessarily make it mythic, it has almost double the damage, almost double the strength, and basically the rest of the stats are really good as well, as it fires a volley of 5 arrows. The one issue with it, at least at the moment, is that it doesn't seem to allow you to put on aiming. I don't know if this is a bug specifically with aiming and this update, or if it's something very specific to this bow. Even without aiming, however, when you direct hit a mob, as you can see, I'm doing about 144,000 damage. If I run inside and I hit a similar mob, I do about 30,000 damage with my Runon's bow, which is about one-fifth the total damage. This bow is certainly one of the best non-dungeon items in the game, and honestly will definitely make dragons a lot easier to fight, especially at close range. I think this update is going to be really amazing for people who like using bows and archery, and honestly I'm just super excited to see new bows coming to the game. Overall though, this is definitely one of the best updates Hypixel Skyblock has received in a long while. A lot of new features, a lot of new items, and basically a whole new island to explore. I really can't ask for much else. The new boss is pretty fun overall, even if it gets a little bit boring after a while, but you don't have to grind it too long in order to get all the items that you want, which is basically just going to be the Venom's Touch. Aside from that though, the rest of the items included are pretty interesting, if nothing else, and, on top of that, the Grandma Wolf pet is one of the best overall pets in the game, allowing you to access kill combos, which are just amazing. Overall though, once again, thank you so much for watching this video, I'll see you all in the next video, and yeah, peace out everybody.